hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel so i don't know if any of you guys have noticed but i took a couple of weeks break from youtube now this isn't for like anything bad or anything like that i've just honestly been in such a creative rut and i just really don't know what to film right now so i did a little poll on twitter yesterday you have to excuse me i'm holding up the camera so <laughs> i'm not quite i'm not used to this so it's hurting my arms quite a bit but yes i did a poll on twitter and out of the options the one that got the most was to do an anime and gaming figure collection so that is what i'm going to be doing for you guys today it's raining outside so much right now and i have like an hour and i'm going for a blood test so it's a very exciting morning so i thought i'd film this before we go first of all let's say hello to the ratties because <gasps> is that an artemis is that an artemis now this is actually meant to be hooked up there but um it kept falling down, so we got. <laughs> oh, look at them both! Little Cosmo in there. Hello, Artemis. It's not gonna wanna focus on you. Cause you, cause you move too much. Hey, my little guy. Oh. I'll get you out and have cuddles with you after, okay? Mummy promises. They've grown so much, it's actually crazy. I mean, you probably see them on my Instagram all the time. The majority of mine and Steven's like gaming and anime figure collections is spread over this really cool cabinet that he has here. So it's really convenient for me so I could just place them all in here. He cleared out the right side for me. So then I could have that as my side. Um, when I lived in my old place, I just kind of put on top of my cubes and they were really dusty and stuff. So I'm not, not gonna lie, that's gonna get like dusty as hell, but at least they're kind of protected in here. And then I have some in my little bookcase there, which I'll show you afterwards. So we will start with this side. So if I open this up for you, kind of forgotten how to do this YouTube thing. So I'm sorry if I'm really, if I'm really awkward. <laughs> try not to be i'll try and hold the camera as steady as possible so yeah this is an overview of mainly my side so i'm gonna start with the bottom and work my way up and hope i'm not too short so i can show you so yeah this is the amiibo section this is mainly mine and a couple of uh, stevens so in the front here we have <laughs> Big boy, De Detective Pikachu. I got him, yeah, it was this time last year actually when the game came out and I've literally not actually finished that game. So, oh my god. But yeah, the amiibo is so cool. And then we have Isabel, Celeste, Reese, and KK from my Animal Crossing ones. And I really want to get the rest of them. And I'm really sorry if any of these are a bit dusty, but you know, that's just how things are sometimes. Here we have my Splatoon 2 Inkling Amiibo. I really want the new one for Smash. Lucario, Toad, Boo, and this one glows in the dark. It's honestly so cool. Jigglypuff. And then in the back here we've got Link, which is Stevens, Rosalina. Does anybody remember when Amiibos first came out and they were like, so hard to get hold of and some of them would like go up in price so much and rosalina was one of them and i rem remember when i was when i would go to nottingham and i tracked one down again and i was so happy and excited but you know thankfully we don't have that issue anymore because nintendo fixed that we've got mewtwo and then that is steven's it's mars is smart is his favorite character to play in smash and we have charizard so those are all my amiibos i've not bought any bought any quite a while but there are some new smash ones that i really want to get when they come out here we have this is kind of like my pop figures actually this hasn't got all of my pop figures i'll go in the bedroom and show my some of my other ones and my some songs now recently the entertainer they put all of the some songs on sale so i just bought ton of them otherwise i didn't rebuy them because they're kind of overpriced that's why they probably went on sale because no one's buying them so yeah we have my darling marie in the front here she's so cute honestly uh we've got a little simba in the basket there and then we've got cheshire cat sunny and mike we've got the toy story gang of our absolute favorite the tiny alien there so cute got inside out oh yeah these ones are sparkly i hope you can see that but they're really cool they're like some of my favorites also i'm sorry if i end up accidentally covering the mic at any point i really hope i haven't got lion king and we've got the marble ones including my bay 
Iron Man. And then for my pop figures, we've I mainly collect the Steven Universe ones. So I've got Peridot, Lion, we've got Lapis, and then recently they've re-released the Toy Story ones, which I'm so happy about because they were so hard to get hold of. Because if you don't know, Toy Story is my one of my favourite films and my favourite like Disney and Pixar films. So I've got Buzz and Woody, and I really want to get Bullseye and the rest of the gang hopefully soon. And then, okay, so I'm doing some interesting work. I'm tiptoeing right now because it's quite high up for me. So this is kind of like my magical girl shelf, as, as you could say. So we've got my uh, pretty cure figures. Now, I don't know what the heck. Cure Twinkle is like on something now, so I need to try and fix her uh, soon. We have Cure Fortune. Pure Twinkle is actually my favourite because Go Princess Pretty Cure is my favourite Pretty Cure series ever and I really want to get the figures from the new one because that Pretty Cure series, like the whole aesthetic is just like me all over with like the sun, you know, with the moons and stars and the whole like astronomy theme, it's just amazing. So yep, Cure Twinkle, Cure for Fortune, this is Cure Whip. Not gonna lie, I didn't like that series as much but I'm very into this year's series but Pretty Cure is like one of my favourite animes ever if not my favourite ma magical girl anime we have, I'm going to bring this down to show you actually because my arms are shaking quite a bit so I'm very sorry I'm doing a kind of a bad job at this so this is my Go Princess Pretty Cure perfume actually I'm also going to show you my other Pretty Cure items as well this is honestly so cool. I got this when I was in Japan last time. All the time before, actually, yeah. Because um, there's in Nakano Broadway, there's a magical girl shop on like the top floor, and it's insane. There's so many secondhand magical girl an anime goods. It's the most amazing thing ever. So I got that as I was really after that, and it was so cheap too. I was so surprised because mostly you have to get them off eBay and they, they can be kind of overpriced. And then I'm also going to bring down Madoka. This is Madoka from Madoka Magica. That's probably my favourite Magica anime. Like, my top three is Madoka, Sailor Moon, and Pretty Girl. Oh, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I love her. I think I got that one off eBay too. The other blind box ones, I. Did I get them off eBay? I think I got, I got them when I was in Japan actually, so yeah. But you can get most of them off eBay, just be careful that you're not being charged like crazy money. Because people will do that. And then up here, we have my beautiful Shaman. Who's honestly amazing. And that's Steven's Pikachu. This is a really weird angle. But I'm too short, so I cannot get him down. But I think I've shown you to him before. But I found him in a second hand shop in Akihabara and he really wasn't expensive either but he was so so cool. Now I'm just going to quickly show you this side too as there's tons of Pokemon in here so I thought it would be interesting for you to see as well. Like this is mainly like Steven's side but I thought I might as well show it to you. So down here, oh this little Lucario I got for Steven at Hyper Japan last year, it's so cute. Is it going to focus? Yay, it's really, really cute. I love its cheapiness. And then we have a really cool Snivy here. Oh, actually, this is one of the McDonald's ones. It, like, it has a little roll. A little roll. Oh, God. I am sorry. Who Who are you? Yeah, Stephen loves DC. Um, don't know who that is. Like, I'm very sorry. Yeah, he loves DC characters, and that's I think that's from Assassin's Creed. Please don't at me in the comments if I'm wrong. So he's got like a uh, Harley Quinn and I think that Catwoman. I don't know. And there's some dude behind her there. But yeah, that's like he's into that as well. Oh yeah, we've got we've got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that a cap? And then we got <laughs> we have a Thor lurking in the background another thought and whoever that is it looks like a power ranger i think that's that's a power power ranger honestly if steven was here right now he would be like so like oh my god and then this shelf which i think you're going to be the most interested in is the pokemon shelf where he has a pokemon figure collection so first of all i'm going to show you this one which i got for him for his birthday which was last no, it's on Sunday, yes. Um, this is Nagado. I can never pronounce this one. It's the evolution of um, 
the UB sticky, which is my favourite UB. The rest of them are pretty ugly, including this, but you know. And then we have Clefki, Leafy on Chimcha, <laughs> a tiny alone vault with Vulpix in the background there. Mewtwo, Vivillion, uh, Mega Charles on White, Glade, which is Steven's favourite Pokemon ever. When I was in Japan last year, I tried so hard to get him some Glade stuff. I got him a plushie, but like, it was like nothing. Not even in like Nakano. Groudon, Scyther, which reminds me of this really shiny Scyther in Go, which is cool. Sylveon, oh my god. This, right, this figure here, I'm sorry, Lucario. This one here, I have this too. This is from when they released Platinum. Now, if you are a Super Pokemon fan and you got Platinum when it was released, then game gave these away. This was like a pre-order bonus and it's a Giratina or Origin form figure. I have this too, although mine's incredibly way worse condition than this. But my God, this thing is like 10 years old and I love it so much. So that was really cool to see. And then we have a little Lucario, there's another one of Steven's. These are basically all of Steven's fav fa uh, favourite Pokemon and Volcarona, which is meant to be on that thing. And we be yielded too, so I also have that as well. So yeah, that's mainly it for the figures here. Let, let me just shut this. I really love this cabinet, it's awesome. We have our games displayed here as well, which is really nice. And then up here we also have... <laughs> I need to ask Steven to move my moon stick because I want to take pictures with it and I can't because I can't get up there obviously and I want to move it over to that side. He's also got some Gundam too because he's into that and like Transformers and that is a Thor glove. Yeah, that's Thor like, uh, oh no, yeah, no, that's Thor's hammer and a glove. I can't remember what that's from. Yeah. Anyway, coming down here, Steven guitars, <laughs> we have my nendroids because i freaking love nendroids they are like my favorite anime figures to collect ever i mean i know you've seen these but it's just kind of cool to show it all in one video so this is uh oh come on miku this is hatsune miku <laughs> lily's hat is just always falling off it's crazy oh my god it's very cute but it's not very practical so this is pumpkin i'm just gonna give up with that this is um, Hatsune Miku in her like sweet uh, pump pumpkin form, one of her Halloween outfits. I love this. I got this off Ami Ami, which is a great site. I highly recommend it for Anna for anime and gaming goods. It's so good. Yeah, she's so cute. She's a little different to some Nendroids in the fact she doesn't come with as many parts, but she's just as good and it's, it's such good quality. Like I can rave, I can rave about them all day, and they're really not. They're, they're not so expensive like some of the other Shoujo Arts figures. And I like the cheekiness. This one is Hifumi from New Game. <laughs> She's like one of my best girls ever. I got her when I was in Japan. I actually went to uh, it wasn't a good small shop, but there's a shop in like, Akihabara that easily took me to that sold like tons of Androids. I was in heaven, so I got her brand new. Also in Japan, if you go to Nakano, loads of shops sell them for, for second hand. They're basically like brand new. I do have a Homura Kemi one. I don't know what it is actually. Um, but yeah, I also have her, and I got her second hand. But she's basically like like new. And then we have Lily and Cosmo. Oh, she's so cute. Currently, she's got her like super angry expression on her. I'll give you your hat back. She's really cute too, and I also got her of Ami Ami. Mm, they look so cute up here. Oh yeah, and my other um, pretty girl items are here. I've not gotten any in quite a while. This, I, the last one I got one from was from um, Kira Kira P Precure a la mode, which is not last year's but the year before. Like I said, I obviously went to the Pretty Cure cool store last year when I went to Tokyo, which is actually, fun fact, it's nearly been a whole year since I went, which is very sad. But hopefully I'll be back soon. Um, I didn't really like the items, so I didn't get them, but I would like to get them from the series this year. So yeah, this is the Go Princess Precure rod. This is honestly amazing, and I have the other keys to put up there as well. Not gonna lie, a lot, a lot, a lot of this just collects dust, so I should really dust it more often. But every so often, I have a little play, I play with them, or have like little photo shoots with them. This is the one from the name has 
completely escaped me now, but if you're into Precure, you, you'll know which one this is from. It's from the series after Go Princess Precure, yeah. Because it was pre Go Princess in 2015, that one, uh, Kira Kira, Hugto, and then the current one we're on now, yeah. <laughs> Precure seasons are hard to keep up with, there's like so many, it's actually ridiculous. And I thought I would just quickly show you my other figures I have. So yeah, I mentioned as well that I have some other pops up here. Yeah, I've got a Bonnie and a Sailor Moon and an Iron Man hiding in the back there. I don't know why Sailor Moon isn't actually in the front room. I should probably move her. I've recently built up quite a collection of Koki Doki figures. Some of them are on sale in place. I just kind of went ham. They're really cute. I love them a lot. Oh, Corona. We have. Oh yeah, I got this really cute. Kirby Good Smile figure from game recently. I don't know why they were just randomly stocking them, so I got one. Um, we have I did an opening of these Eevee Terrarium figures on my channel a while back, and then this is like my little shelf of this is the queue for all of my little figures. Obviously, I'm not going to go through them all because there's like tons, so I'll just give you a little overview. Some are from McDonald's, some are like oh, yep, there's my Giratina. Some are just random things, I've just collected them. Some are Sailor Moon, some are Precure, some are um, Himoto Umar-chan, Umar and some are from Gatches as well. And my camera is the eye, please. And you could probably see all the dust. Actually, these ones are my favourite, like, these style. These are really, really cool. I love, I love, I love this a lot. So that pretty much does it for my anime, gaming and figure collection video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like down below and tell me in the comments anything you would like me to film for next week. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.